the if else statement. Here's the syntax of the if statement. We have the word if, then parentheses, and then the condition. Parentheses are required around the condition, which is a logical or Boolean expression. Then we have curly braces. Curly braces are required before and after all of the statements. And then we have the statements in the middle. The code above is saying, if the condition is true, run the code inside the curly braces. If the condition is not true, do not run the code inside of the curly braces. The if statement will only execute if the condition is true. Below are two examples. Determine the output of each. If two is greater than one, then run this code. Two is greater than one. Therefore, this code will run and the computer will print math rules. If two is less than one, then run this statement. However, two is not less than one, therefore we're not even gonna look at this statement. Quick note, notice the use of new line and end line formatting with the opening curly brace. Either is acceptable. Also, if there's only one statement, like above, you technically do not need any curly braces, but it's a good habit to always use them to prevent errors. Many places, like Google, will not accept code without the braces, even if it works. So here we have the new line formatting and the end of line formatting. In number one, the terminal window will output math rules because two is greater than one, therefore the condition is true. So it will run the statements inside the curly braces. If the condition is false, like it is in problem number two, the statement will be completely passed over and ignored. This example will output nothing because two is not less than one, making the condition false. So the computer sees this and then just jumps ahead, skipping the, the code inside of the curly braces altogether. Here's an example using variables. int x equals three, int y equals five. If x equals y, which it doesn't, therefore this is false, and the computer is just gonna jump past the code in the curly brace without looking at it at all. So there is no output here. This will output nothing because in this case, x and y are not equal. What if we want the program to output something that says they are not equal when the condition is false? You could just have two if statements in a row. So if x equals y, print this. If x does not equal y, print this. This program will run the first if statement. Since x equals y is false, it will skip the statement in the curly braces and move on to the second if statement. Since x is not equal to y is true, it will execute the statement in the curly braces and print they are not equal. While that method will work, it's considered poor programming practice to list back-to-back -back if statements for alternating cases. In order for programs to take the false result into consideration, an if-else statement is used. Here's the syntax of the if-else statement. If this condition is true, run this statement. Else, run this statement. When an if-else statement is executed, the program determines if the condition is true or false. If it's true, it will execute statement one. If it's false, it will execute statement two. Let's see our previous code written more efficiently. So here we have int x equals three, int y equals five, if x equals y, which it doesn't, so we're not gonna run this statement, that means we're gonna run this statement here, the else. So it will print they are not equal. Here we've combined the two if statements into one if else statement. This program will still print out they are not equal, but it is more compact and elegant. If x equals y, print they are equal. Otherwise, print they are not equal. What is the output of this code segment? Int x equals five. If x does not equal eight, well, this is true because x is five, x does not equal eight. Therefore, we will execute this statement. It will print incorrect. The output would be incorrect. What if we initially set int x equal to eight? What is the output of this code segment? Int x equals eight. If x does not equal eight, well, this is false. Therefore, we're going to go to the else and we'll execute this statement. So if we initially set int x equal to eight, the output would be correct. 